In GT7, we've checked out some properly weird and wonderful cars. However, today I wanted to go kind of the other way and look at the ugliest car in the game. Gran Turismo has these Vision GT cars, which honestly are really, really cool. They show the future and what brands would do if they had infinite money. But this, however, is the Aston Martin go. It's, uh, it's quite frankly the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, no sane person would spend 1 million credits on this car. Except me. Let's do it. Uh, I feel sick already. It's, it's just, it's so ugly. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to do. It's horrendous. I don't care if it's based off something old or it's just different from the other thing. That's why it's stylistic. It looks like a car I drew when I was five. Except actually, no, I can't draw. So that's, I'm sorry. Like I thought we would get this out of the way, but look at Aston's cars. They're pretty cool, stylistic, really nice, very beautiful. 177, my favorite Aston Martin. Vulcan, we tried it out. Actually, turns out I quite like this car. Oh my God, that was 3 million. What the hell is this, Aston? What the? You're telling me this is the second most powerful Aston available and it's not even a face some mother could love. I should know. Look at this. This vision car was created, I remember, many, many moons ago. This is one of the oldest vision cars from what I remember. Yet it still looks better and it costs the same. Bloody hell. Of course, this car could make it up in how it performs. Hey, it sounds pretty good. It sounds very freaking. Where's the cockpit view? Are you joking me? There's not even a cockpit view. What is this? Classic Gran Turismo with the bloody no deep. Where is the interior view? How can you have a car with no interior view on this game? That makes genuinely no sense. They got rid of all the old crap cars to make them better, how extra detail, and they decided, no, you know what, no, no, this don't need it. This must be a joke. It must be, I, I, can't, I can't believe it. However, ooh, <laughs> it drives pretty freaking well. I quite like it. It's not quite uh, vision-esque as normal because I, I, it almost wants to slide a little bit more than you would expect. But I don't know if I would complain about that. <laughs> Been a little bit since I actually played some Gran Turismo since I filmed the previous videos. This is my first time jumping in. I've not had a warm up. This is just going for it. And of course, I'm going to do quite a bit of third person in this video because there's no cut review. This is definitely the best sounding view that I'll shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Now. Beautiful. Be <laughs> I, I I can't I can't I can't stay quiet. It's uh, it's kind of difficult to do so. I only catch that bloody Peugeot. I still think it's the ugliest thing ever. I don't I don't understand what Aston Martin were thinking. Ooh. Oh God! It's just odd. I keep switching between the views because I'm like, I want I want. What is that? That's flapping at me. I keep switching to the second and it's way too early. The flaps on the Alpine Vision GT are actually really freaking cool. I've never seen that before. When he's on the brakes. What is that? That is the coolest thing ever. I need to try that. Let me know if you want me to try that down in the comments. Power up! Oh, you sound so freaking meaty. Left him. He's gone. Stop. Whoa, 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 Sonny Jim. Oh, God. Well, I have to say, in terms of how it drives, it's definitely, it definitely makes up for how it looks. It's one of those. It, it genuinely, some of the most fun I've had in a vision car. Of course, the Lamborghini, I was kind of disappointed. It kept slipping and wasn't really balanced for it. This, I feel like they've gone, you know what? You know that new drift car that they designed? Maybe maybe it's that underneath. <laughs> maybe this was the early planning of a skiddy, skiddy car that's controllable. They've done a really cracking job. Honestly, I love it. I also hate it. It's, it's a problem. I would be embarrassed to have it on my driveway. However, my track car, however, there are many, many better things to have for a track car that uh, I would rather have for a million. You know how this goes. We next up have to go to the tuning shop and begin the process of making it a little bit better. I say a little bit better. 
it's probably going to be marginal. Let's be real, the Vision cars don't tend to have many upgrades to go along with them. We've got the fully customizable ECU, no turbos whatsoever. We have absolutely nothing we can do to this car. Why? Just why would you even bother? What is this ugly piece of crap? Can't even throw bloody nos in it. One absolute disgrace of a car. I j I hate it. I really. <laughs> we do the only modification that we can do. It brings the PP up by 30 points. From some angles, it does look good. Yeah. Why are you in here? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do a uh, wide body. Mm, yes. However, <laughs> seeing it in more angles, you know what? Genuinely, the body lines at the side, pretty good. I think the front is the ugliest thing. The wheels look like they're from Gran Turismo 3. I don't understand. It has no polygons. It has no interior. Oh, we could change the wheels. This may be a good idea. F what if we were to do a little bit of paint all over this? But oh, no. I, I think somehow it looks worse without the stripes. I'm not quite sure how that's possible. But it's bloody worse! So, I thought we would do something a little bit different instead. Because this thing is not really upgradable in any way, I've also hidden the ugliness in making it black. I think it looks a little bit nicer. I thought we would do a drift trial. Because, yes, I feel like it's a decent point of this vehicle. He says and brings it to Brand Hatch, which he gets 1,000 points on a corner. It's Utterly amazing. Now, I did install a hydraulic handbrake. That is going to be... This This is crap, mate. Come on. Stay on the course. Stay on the tiny little course. Stay on the... Let's go. F1 wheel drifting. I'm getting baby drifts, all right? Yes! Yeah, I installed the hydraulic handbrake. We can't do the angle kit, which is really, really annoying. And also, didn't drift trials used to be... I don't know. In my head, drift trials used to be like sections of tracks. Why? Have they changed it? <laughs> or have I just been picking different tracks and being baboon? Come on, give me more pipes. No! Can you skip the section? Oh, yeah, mate. <laughs> 800 points. Let's go. What's the good score? No, don't take more points from me! Yeah, boy! Don't boo me! The little preview sound beforehand. It sounds pretty freaking good. See if I can do it, baby. Well, that was pretty freaking good. Unfortunately, it wasn't tracking my points yet. I didn't even need it. I am on sports hard tires, by the way. I'm not on, like, normal drift tires. I just kind of wanted to leave it as is, because quite honestly, I love the stable, smooth slides that it kind of did. It's definitely more just kind of like a, a fun slide set up so far, which is fine. There's no problem. <laughs> Previously, before the update, I definitely could not drift properly with a wheel. I mean, at all. I say properly. This is clearly. Like, there's no way you should allow me to call this proper. Come on. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Woo. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Where did I place on my first run with this car? On Zuguba. Where are we? Yo, I beat the LC. That's only because it's now easier to do. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash like, check out the store, much appreciated. And if you think this is not the ugliest car in GT7, try and prove me wrong, because it'll be quite difficult to do so, to say the least. Thanks for watching, smash like, subscribe, <laughs> and peace.